क्वेश्चन वन आंसर द फॉलोइंग ए टेक सरिताज प्रेजेंट एज टू बी फाइव ईयर्स सो वील हैव टू टेक हर प्रेजेंट एज एज फाइव ईयर्स वॉट विल बी हर एज फाइव ईयर्स फ्राम नाउ सो करेंटली शी इज एट वाई एंड आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स शील बी फाइव प्लस फाइव इट इज वेरी ईजी नाउ सेकेंड वॉट वॉज हर एज थ्री ईयर्स बैक दैट मीन्स वॉट वॉज हर एज थ्री ईयर्स बिफोर द प्रेजेंट एज सो इट इज बाई माइनस थ्री third sarita's grandfather is six times her age what is the age of her grandfather so six times means multiplied by six what does it mean if she is 5 years old her grandfather is 30 years old now grandmother is 2 years younger than grandfather so what was the grandfather's age 6y so we have written 6y and her grandmother is 2 years younger to him that means 65 minus 2 now sarita's father age is 5 years more than 3 times sarita's age so sarita's age is given to us that is y years we we'll have to take her age as y years so 3 times means 3 times y and plus 5 why because 5 years more than whatever 3y will come so therefore 3y plus 5 So this was your question number A. B part. The length of a rectangular hall is four meters less than three times the breadth of the hall. What is the length if the breadth is three meters? So this is the required rectangle, and we are given that breadth is B meters. Now everything is in meters. Now what we will do is we have to find the length in terms of breadth. So it is given. The length of a rectangle is four meter less. So we will do less part afterwards. First, we will calculate three times breadth. It means three times b. We multiplied by b. This is the same thing. And then whatever it will come, then we have to subtract four from it. Therefore, three b minus four. So this is how we represent. Now the c part. A rectangular box has height at centimeter. So this is your required rectangular box. This is height. This is your length, and this is your breadth. Now, its length is five times the height, and breadth is ten centimeter less than the length. Express the length and the breadth of the box in terms of height. So we have to express in terms of height. So first of all, let's find the length, because height is given. It is five times of h. Therefore, five h centimeter. Now we will find for breadth. Now breadth is 10 cm less than its length so we have found length in terms of height that is 5 h cm 5 times h cm and its breadth is 10 cm less than that so 5 h minus 10 cm is your required breadth of this rectangular box d part mina bina and lina are climbing the steps to the hill top so these are the three girls now mina is it step s currently and lena is 8 steps ahead and lena 7 steps behind so what does it mean how we can visualize it and it is asking where are bina and lena so let's assume mina is at step s this is your step s lena is above 8 steps and lena is 7 steps so what does it mean it means that mina is at center having at step s it is given to us now we will just write for rest of others so it is said that bina is 8 steps ahead then what does it mean it means since mina is at s then mina would be s plus 8 because it is further from mina similarly mina is 7 steps behind what does it mean it means s minus 7 because mina is at center now the total number of steps to the hill top is 10 less then four times what does it mean the total steps suppose they started from this point and they have to reach the summit of this hill so the total number of steps to that point is given by this relation and we have to deduce the relation what does it says it says four times what where mina has reached so mina has reached at the point s so 4s would be 4s 4 times of s that's we have written 4s and it is 10 less than that so whatever the product of 4s will come it is 10 less than that this is the total number of steps from this point 
to the final point where they are going. E part, a bus travels at 3 km per hour. So this is the speed of the bus. We have written it. It is going from Daspur to Dispur. So these are two towns or places from where the bus is going. After the bus has traveled 5 hours. So bus has traveled for 5 hours with speed V km per hour. Now Dispur is still 20 km away. They haven't reached Dispur. It is 20 km away. What is the distance from Daspur to Bispur? Express it using V. So this is the total distance that we have to find. So how we can find this is given to us 20 km. We have to find this distance that it traveled. So if a bus travels V km in 1 hour, it means that in 5 hours it will travel 5 V, 5 times V. We can also think it as if bus travels 5 km per hour with the speed of 5 km per hour, it will travel 5 hours at 25 km per hour. So we have to just multiply it with 5 and then add therefore total distance is 5v plus 20 km. So this is your question number first. Question second. Change the following statements using expressions into statements in ordinary language. So what is ordinary language? We will see. For example, given Salim scores R runs in a cricket match, Nalin scores R plus 50 runs. So this is mathematical way of representation or in ordinary language we will say Nalin scores 15 runs more than Salim. So we have to write in ordinary language. We have to convert mathematical into ordinary language. So a part, a notebook costs rupees 5. A book costs rupees 3. P. What does it mean? It means a book is 3 times that of notebook. So that's why we have written it. A book costs 3 times the cost of a notebook. Likewise, we will do the rest of them. Tony puts Q marbles on the table. He has 8 Q marbles in his box. So when we visualize it, it means Tony's box contains 8 times the marbles on the table. So if he has 1 marble on the table, it means he has 8 times he has 8 marbles in his box. C part a class has n students. The school has 20 N students. So it is a comparison between class and students. So it means students are 20 times of that of a class. So we will write in ordinary language as total number of students in the school is 20 times that of a class. The part Jaggu is Z years old. His uncle is 4 Z years old and his aunt is 4 Z minus 3 years old. So what do we understand from this? That his age is Z years and his uncle is 4 times that of his age. Therefore, we write 4 times that of Jaggu. And now we have found his uncle's age that is 4Z. Now in a, another part, his aunt is 4Z minus 3. That is, she is 3 years younger to her husband. So this was your relation between 3 persons. Now E part. In an arrangement of dots, there are R rows. Each row contains 5 dots. So this is something like this. Each row has 5 dots. Therefore, we have constructed 5 dots. Now, the question says, if there are R rows, so how many total dots are there? So the total number of dots will be 5 times the number of rows. For example, if we have 2 rows, then we will have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 dots. We are just multiplying numbers with rows. Or five with rows. Same thing. That was your question number two. Question number three. A. Given Munu's age to be x years, can you guess what x minus two may show? In this given, think of Munu's younger brother. Now, can you guess what x plus four may show and what three x plus seven may show? So when we see here, we are given with the Munu's present age that is x years. So x minus two means it is his younger brother age and who is two years younger to him. So this is what we infer from this x minus 2. Now another part what we have can you guess what is x plus 4 may show? Suppose he has an elder brother who is four years older to him. So this will represent his older brother x plus 4 because his present age is x. Now what 3x plus 7 may show? It may show his mother's age. How? Because 
3 times x would be multiple of 3 plus 7. So it may show his mother's age. B. Given Sarah's age today to be y years, think of her age in future or in the past. What will be the following expression indicate? Y plus 7. It means after 7 years, what will be her age? It is future even. Y plus 7. After 7 years. Now, we look here. Y minus 3. It means her age 3 years prior to the present age. So, minus means previous age. It is the event of the past. Now, Y plus 4 and half. So, it would mean that her age after four and a half years from the present age. It is a future event. Whenever plus is there, it means future event. When minus, it means previous event. So here it is her age two and a half years ago. That was your B part. C. Given and students in the class like football, what may to ensure? What may and by to show? Hint, think of games other than football. So it means there are n students in the class who like football. So let's say cricket is famous. Okay. So it means two n people love cricket. That's what two n means. It may mean that cricket is loved by twice the number of students that like football. All right. Now, what may n by two show? We can name a chess. Chess is loved by half of the students that love football. So we are representing every number of students in terms of football. So half number of people who love football loves chess. So this was the last question, question number third.